Hey everybody, John Gucci Foley here. Today I wanted to talk about creativity and innovation. So I got outside to open up my, my mind and my space. Uh, I'd give you an example of how we did it on the Blue Angels and then we'll tie it back to how to make this work in any aspect of your life. So our challenge was always to create a new maneuver. That was like the cool thing to do. And uh, it was hard to do because you had a sequence and you had processes and, and uh, one day, Thumper and I in, in winter training, my opposing solo, uh, we had gotten ahead of the, the, the course syllabus and we decided let's, let's think about uh, what would be the coolest maneuver we could do. And what, is, what has nobody ever done before? Is there something we could do that no one's ever been done before and scale it and make it safe and repeatable? So we created a maneuver called the section high alpha. And that is initially only three teams in the world even tried what we call a high angle of attack, slow speed flight. That's where you put the jet on its tail and you're walking it. Now, the, we'd only do that with one airplane. I did that when I was opposing solo with the Blue Angels. The Thunderbirds did it and then the Russians did it. But no one had done it with two airplanes and no one had done it in what we call line abreast, side by side. And we thought, could we do this? Well, we had to test it first. So first the vision comes first, is what is it that, that it looks like? And so I had this vision of the two jets side by side, but I had to test it, the contingencies, because safety was paramount. What if I lost an engine? So we went through a testing phase and one by one, very methodically, we're creating, trying things, but also in a safe, predictable way. Then once we proved that it could be done and I tested it and flown next to Thumper, uh, we had to scale it. And that was the hardest part. And that is how do you make this workable for not just this year with he and I, but I wrote an SOP, we created the foundation, we actually had to tell the team, and this was the hardest part, was to get the coordination and buy-in, because it changed what they were gonna do and their timing patterns. We had to change the rendezvous. What we, we worked through all those things, and now that maneuver is in the Blue Angels. It was started in 1992 by Thumper and myself. It's still in the Blue Angels today. If you go to an air show, you will see it. But here's what's really cool. No other team in the world has been able to replicate it. So it's not just creativity and innovation, but it was able to be scaled. And that I think is the critical part. So uh, to recap, there was three things that happened. One is I had domain expertise. I knew the jet. We had the time to be creative. So think about in your space, what do you know really well and create some time to give yourself some space? Go outside like I'm doing right now. Second thing we did is we tested it. So you, you, you take chances, but they're calculated risk, right? And then the third thing is we scaled it. And we scaled it by making it standard and, uh, and working with our teammates to make this live well beyond ourselves. Three things in creativity, do that. I guarantee you, you'll pivot, you'll make a change in the world. Glad to be here, Gucci out.